let me show you how to make these Peruvian pumpkin and sweet potato donuts called picarones. Come on, let's get started. Todo queda sabroso. Now, it's not the first time that we did picarones on this channel, but today I want to show you how to make it with canned pumpkin. Okay, so whenever you do picarones, you use equal amounts of sweet potato and pumpkin. Because I'm using the canned pumpkin, this is about two cups or one pound. So you want the equivalent of sweet potato, and I weighed this out and it's exactly 16 ounces. And this is going to be the basis for our picarones. But the first thing we want to do is peel the sweet potato. Okay, now that we have our sweet potato peeled, we're gonna cut it in large chunks. I don't like to cut it in small chunks because this is going to be cooked in water and I don't want the sweet potato to retain too much moisture. Okay, so we're going to place our sweet potatoes in a pot and we wanna add about four cups of water. And then to that, we're gonna add some cinnamon sticks some star anise too. I'm gonna to add some cloves, and then we're gonna add some anise or anise seeds. This has a little licorice type profile. And we're going to boil this mixture until the sweet potatoes are cooked all the way through. Then we're going to drain the sweet potatoes, but we're going to reserve some of that cooking liquid. Okay, while the sweet potatoes are cooking, we're going to do something with this canned pumpkin to remove the excess moisture that it has. And this is a tip I got from one of the food creators that I follow. Shout out to Chef Risha. And basically you just take the canned pumpkin, put it in a dry nonstick pan, and you just cook it out until all that moisture has evaporated. As you can see, the pumpkin is coming together tighter. A lot of that moisture has evaporated. And the reason I'm doing this step is because I want to manage the amount of liquid that goes into the batter. Because if there's too much water, the dough will be too sticky and you'll have trouble forming the picarones. So the less moisture, the less water, the better. I'll let this go for a couple more minutes and then let it cool. Okay, so. In this cup, I have some of that reserve cooking liquid from the sweet potatoes, and it's still a little bit warm. And to that, I'm gonna add some active dry yeast, one packet, as well as a tablespoon of sugar. And we're just going to give that a quick mix and let that sit for about 10 minutes for it to bloom. Okay, so here I have my sweet potatoes that have been cooked, and I'm just going to use a potato masher to mash them up. You can smell the spices, the cinnamon, the anise, cloves, and the star anise. Okay, and to this, we're going to add the pumpkin that we dried out. I'm gonna mash that in with the sweet potato. Then we're going to add that yeast mixture that has been blooming for about 10 minutes. Incorporate that. Okay, now to this mixture, we're gonna add two cups of flour. This is all purpose flour, as well as a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna to begin to mix that together. Okay, as it begins to come together, I'm going to add about half a cup of that cooking liquid that we reserved and then continue to mix. Now, if it's too wet, you could always add a little bit more flour. Just do that in small increments until you reach the desired consistency, which should be heavier than a pancake batter, but looser than say cookie dough, which is what we pretty much have here. And then I'm going to cover that with some plastic wrap and I'm going to keep this in a warm area for about one and a half hours to two hours or until it has doubled in volume. 
Okay, now we're going to start our chancaca syrup. Basically, it's a syrup that includes piloncillo, which is the raw sugar cane. And then we're gonna add the same spices, cinnamon stick, star anise, cloves, some of that anise seed, and I'm also adding some orange peel. To that, since this is eight ounces, I'm gonna add two cups of water. And then we're going to simmer this until it becomes a nice thick syrup. Okay, so in a pot, I have some vegetable oil and I heated it to about 355, 360 degrees. Okay, so I have my batter here and I have a little bit of water. I'm just going to dip my left hand in that water and then I'm gonna take a spoonful of that batter, place it right in my hand, little indentation in the middle and then drop it in the oil. Taking a wooden chopstick, just going to enforce that hole and then repeat the process in making another one. Okay, and here we have our beautiful picarones and we're just going to hit it with that chancaca syrup and there you have it, picarones. Sabroso. If you liked this video, click the recipe tab in the video description, which will take you to our recipe page on Provecho, where you'll get a printer-ready format of the recipe that links directly to Instacart, so you can shop for all the ingredients instantly. You can also follow along with the video as you make something sabroso. Todo queda sabroso.